Good morning, stampers. This is Jackie Ballheis from clompenstampers.blogspot.com, and I'm here today with the first in a series of videos I'm going to be doing calling Technique Tuesday. So we're going to just go ahead and start. I want to show you how to do this watercolor look that's on this card. It's very simple, but looks pretty artsy. I really like the look of it. So we are using the stamp set Thoughts and Prayers. It's kind of an older set, been around for quite a while. Um, and to begin with, we're going to ink up our stamp using markers. Um, sometimes we forget that markers aren't just for coloring images in. They also work really good to go directly on your stamp, and it allows you to get multiple colors at one time. So we're just starting out with old olive. We're doing all the leaves and the branches. And then we can use melon mambo and do the flowers on here. And once we're all inked up, before I stamp it, and you'll notice this paper looks a little different. This is our watercolor paper. We need something that'll take a lot of water to it. But before I stamp, I'm going to take my spritz bottle with water in it and spray my cardstock. I want to get it pretty darn wet. And then when I go ahead and stamp, you will see how those images get pretty blurry on there. And if they're not blurry enough, um, you can even go ahead and spray it with a little bit more water. Um, we, we want them to pretty much fade out on there. And then you need to dry this. You can see how it's pretty wet right now. You can, heat gun works awesome. But I'm going to just go ahead and use the magic of video. And here's one that's already dried for you. And then step two of this process is you're going to take your stamp. You need to dry it off because it's pretty wet. And we're going to re-ink it just like we did the first time. So we'll do Old Olive. I'm going to show you another card in a second here that I did the same technique with, but I used stamp pads instead of markers because the stamps that I were using were individual stamps, so I could do the two different stamps in the two different colors. Um, but this one, I, I wanted two different colors on the same stamp, so that's why we're doing it. Now, before I stamp this one, because I want it just a little bit watercolory looking, I'm going to spritz the actual stamp a couple of times. Not a whole lot. You don't want it real, real wet. And then we're going to just go ahead and stamp directly over the image that we had stamped previously. And that way you can see that one comes out crisper and we've got that watercolor bleeding underneath it to give it our artsy look. So again, we'll come back to the finished card and you'll see here's the image on it. I just added some words, completed a card quick and simple. I didn't put a lot of embellishments on this card so it's easy to mail. But I love the look of it, just pretty, I call it artsy looking, and I'm not an artist at all. Here's one other one that I did. This was using the Secret Garden set, which is new in the spring catalog. And these stamps are individual, so you'll see I did the, the leaves or the vines there in Old Olive, and then Melon Mambo on the flowers, but same thing. Stamped them first on very wet paper, let it dry, and then came back and stamped it again. So I hope you enjoy this technique. It makes you feel like an artist. You can visit my website at clompenstampers.blogspot.com and right from there you can order all of these products and I will also post a list of everything I use there and these cards so that you can see them up close and, and a better picture than what you may be seeing on video. So until then, or until next Tuesday when I come back with my next Technique Tuesday video, happy stampin'.